I've always wanted an office that I could walk into and feel inspired to work in. Over the past six years of my photography career, I've gone through many different offices, bedrooms, living rooms, and even my van as an office. With the help of my wife, Sam, and Pinterest, I was able to put my office together pretty easily. Even though everything is put together now, it was definitely a longer process than I anticipated. And we for sure made a few mistakes along the way. When FlexiSpot sent me my desk, I was so excited to put it together, I ended up installing the top upside down. You can see my face right here where I knew I fucked up. My reaction is priceless, and I ended up having to order another one. Next mistake was the walls. Veronica and I thought we really had something going on with this horrible bright blue that you can almost see your reflection in. So we ended up changing the color to a deep matte blue and man, this place looked a million times better. So let this be a lesson to anybody that's painting a wall or even an entire room. Get a paint sample. My buddy Sam came through and helped me put the acoustic wall panels in. Yeah, get this. So it looks like I'm doing all the hard work. <laughs> no one's gonna know. We also added some soundboards on the roof and instantly you can feel and hear the sound difference in here. Not only do acoustic panels work for sound, but look how aesthetic they are. After putting shiplap in my van going horizontal, I've always wanted to try vertical. For this small space, it really helps to elongate the room, making it feel a lot bigger. The panels are from Veneer Hub. They have all sorts of colors and styles and I'll link them in the description for anyone interested. All right, let's talk rugs. I got this one from Ikea, only a hundred bucks. I was pretty shocked of how expensive some rugs can be. Like I'm talking over a thousand dollars. I chose that color palette because I really have been digging the blue and oranges in my photography style lately. And uh, low key, I just wanted to be on brand. So one of my biggest concerns about putting this office together was to not make it look like Sam's. I know that sounds pretty funny, but getting hooked up by the same brands can easily make things start to look pretty similar. So there's a few things I did to make sure my space was unlike anyone else's. This corner couldn't have come out any better. I picked these black and white Venice photos that I shot all in one day because, well, I live in Santa Monica now and I just felt like it would fit in, especially the monochromatic look. Another big aspiration for this office was to put some greenery in here. So we took a bro date to the local nursery and I officially became a plant dad. Be a good plant dad. Bro, do a quick model real quick. <laughs> Put your face behind it. Yeah, there you go. Where's your <laughs> I now have a total of eight plants in here and it just adds so much earthy vibes in here. By the way, if anyone has any tips to keep these guys alive, let me know because I'm studying on the daily and uh, the more the merrier. Moving on to the desk. This is probably one of my favorite parts of this office. I was hella stoked on getting this because I can never really sit still and edit for too long sometimes. I need to change it up. So this desk is perfect because I can stand up and because it has wheels, I can move it anywhere around the office, making it modular. That also makes filming in here a lot easier. This desk is so sturdy, it is able to hold the thickest of them all. There's a built-in cable management system, which is huge to keeping a clean feeling office. It's also got a little drawer compartment as well as some desk plugins for my phone or when I'm using bigger hard drives. This monitor is probably one of the biggest game changers for me when I decided to dive more into video. Having a bigger monitor while I edit, it's just a whole different world, especially when you wanna have multiple screens up at once. So for the past couple years now, I've wanted to make videos, videos on YouTube specifically, and I never really fell through with that. It's been my dream and goals to travel and document my experiences, not only being on the road, but my process of becoming a filmmaker. And with all of the stuff that I have now, I don't have any excuses. <laughs> so huge shout out to Sam, my wife, FlexiSpot, Veneer Hub, and Edifier. This is a dream come true. Sam, thanks for pushing me to make this video because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be making this video. And friends help friends out. I love you, bro. You're amazing. Thanks for watching and yeah, subscribe.
too early.